next fight of the evening before we take a little break is brought to you by Sauced Up Salsa. This fight is an amateur, lightweight bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And when the fight begins, the referee is Dave Selyestad. Introducing the first fighter to the cage, out of the blue corner, he's making his amateur debut, and he weighed in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Vigilante Academy, fierce fans make some noise, and welcome to the cage, Trey Mon! The second fighter out of the Vigilante Academy making the walk tonight, he is... Trey Munns, the 18-year-old, makes his first walk tonight as an MMA fighter, but is not new to combat overall. Wrestling for seven years and being part of the Syracuse wrestling team, Trey's grappling will be something to look out for as he faces Leandro Luxione. And, and Jason, this is a very exciting matchup. I mean, we just saw what Dietrich Jessup did, so I'm very excited to see what he can do. Another 18-year-old kid, Bitch Atlantic, starting him off young out there. 18 years old, fresh out of high school, but here making his debut tonight. He actually was the backup wrestler for All-American Jordan Fifi at Syracuse last year, but he said that he's looking to utilize his grappling. Damage Leandro on the ground, and he's very aware of Leandro's skill and his performances from five months ago. Trey Munn has done his homework, and he is very excited to get in tonight. I'm really excited about this fight. Started training MMA six years ago, but as I mentioned, a long time, actually seven years on the mat. So that is definitely something to look out for. Search for his takedowns, search for his top control, his position control, and all of that. There he is, Trey Munn, making his debut here tonight at Mountain View High School for Fierce Challenger Series 3. All right, and introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he holds an undefeated amateur record of one win and zero losses, and weighed in at 154 and a half pounds, fighting out of Akima Jiu-Jitsu and MMA, fierce fans, welcome back to the cage, Leandro Lucio! A familiar face to the Fierce Challenger series, he is Leandro Luxione, the 1-0 fighter out of Aguima, put on quite the performance in his debut versus Brock Labrum back in May of this year in his very gym. Tonight, he looks to put on a similar showcase against another tough debuter in Trey Munns. Jason, what do you remember about Leandro? Because he put on quite the performance. He put on quite the performance. He's nonstop. He's got great wrestling. He looks prepared. He had a big smile on his face earlier before the fights, you know, before everything started. I saw him in the cage doing this little walkthrough. Super confident. I'm, I'm really impressed with this kid and the performance he had in his last fight and excited to see what he brings uh, tonight. And something to bring up in his debut fight, Leandro fought at 170 pounds versus Brock Labrum. Tonight, he makes the move down to 155 pounds. And I told him yesterday, what are you going to do in the future? He said, I'm going down to 45. Did you see how big my opponent looks? I love this. I love this when I see fighters doing things the right way. So you know he's getting his nutrition locked in. If he's able to cut that weight, and you can see him doing it the right way. I love it. And I, 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 I support it. He, he does a fantastic job all over, but he specifically has very, very good boxing. He trains very closely with Marco Sanchez, who's one of the best strikers in the state of Utah. He also trains along with his brother, Joel. He's been training MMA for two years, and actually, he played basketball in this very gym, Mountain View High School, nine years ago. I wonder, I wonder what that feeling's like, you play basketball in the gym, and now you're in here fighting. I feel like it'd be super weird. Yeah, it seems like it'd be a little weird. A little, diff a little different atmosphere. Oh, maybe the same atmosphere. A whole lot <laughs> different. And I would say Leandro and Trey probably had the best face-off, the best stare-off at weigh-ins yesterday. Very intense between the two of them. Trey has been all business. Leandro, as professional as they come. Trey looks ready. Trey in the blue gloves. Leandro in the red. No glove touch. No glove touch there. Leandro extended. The hand there, and here we are. A couple nice shots landed by Leandro early, and a nice leg kick landed to follow up as well. You know, just right off the bat, I love Trey, the way Trey's standing. I love his stance. And he's... Trey throwing with some heat as well on that. Nice left hook landed as well there by Trey Munn. And Leandro with those cracking leg kicks that he's been throwing since the start of this round. 
Big shot big landed shots by once both. again. Landed by Trey Munn, searching in for the takedown once again. Leandro framing in on the face with a follow-up there. The beautiful left hand. Three of them. Leandro looking to land a little bit more, too. Trey with a beautiful entry there. Leandro looking to sprawl and brawl. Trey now transitioning to the back. One shot landed. A beautiful angle we got here on the broadcast. You can already see the, the, the back of Trey's legs already welted up a little bit from a couple of those leg kicks. And Leandro throws very hard, especially for 155 pounds. Trey on top right now, dominating in terms of the grappling exchanges, able to get that takedown, and doing a very good job at transitioning from the striking to the takedown, Jason. Really have a good view. I'm super impressed with, with this Trey kid. He's only 18 years old. Leandro finds his way back up, clips Trey on the chin on his way up as well. Trey applying pressure, Leandro up against the cage once again. A huge shot landed there to separate them is Leandro Lucione. Oh, nice kick to the body. I think that was more of a slip than a knock and knockdown. Trey back to the front headlock position there. Leandro looking to get back up. Trey looking to potentially snap back down here. Oh, he's got that tight. Also has the anaconda grip here as well, searching for that high guillotine as well, the high elbow guillotine. Oh, we got a little blood coming from the nose of Trey. Looking at Leandro, not seeing too much, a little cut on the bridge of the nose. Looks like our, we gotta get the, the little padding on the ring, looks like it came off, the strap came off on the padding on the ring. Dave looking there multitasking. Let's go. I've been very impressed with the debuters tonight. A lot very of very, impressed very debuters. impressive debuters here tonight. I, I, the, the most impressive thing right now for Trey Munn has been his ability to strike into the takedown. He's done that better than a lot of these early amateur debuters have been doing. You know, the kid's only 18 years old. He's coming in, coming in, making his debut against a guy that's already got a win inside the cage that probably already feels that, that he's, he's comfortable He's ready to go, and, and I, I got to admit, you know, Trace, Trace kind of bringing it. Leandro, 27 years old. Trey, 18 years old. Leandro standing five foot seven. Trey standing five foot eleven. Look at Trey. He's ready to go, man. Oh, and we look at the leg of Trey Munn. He's got a big bruise on the back of his thigh there. Leandro's been investing in those leg kicks early, and they are paying off right now. He'll feel that in the morning. He's probably got that adrenaline going through his... You can see it quite a bit, actually, even on the broadcast as well. But a good job by Leand Leandro, too, making his way back up, getting taken down a couple of times. We know that his his wheelhouse really is the striking and the boxing, as mentioned, when he was walking out. And he's, he's done a good job of getting back up. Yeah, and he's landed some crisp shots, too. He had, he had three left hands right in a row before he ended up getting taken down. I haven't seen Trey really get affected too much by the shots. No. They've been clean, they've been crisp, but I haven't seen him get hurt too much. Now, how much will this pause affect the leg of Trey? None, because he just came out through it. Oh, Leandro. Throwing with heat now and applying some pressure is Trey Leandro trying to get separation once again, get back to the striking exchanges. Beautiful leg kick landed once again by Leandro. Leandro, to me, is, is, is a little crisper on his feet. It looks like Trey wants to get to the Oh! Fight. Down goes Trey! Leandro looking to finish the fight here. The ground and pound ensues. And that's going to wow. do it. Leandro moves to 2-0. Wow. Oh. What a finishing exchange by Leandro Luxione out of Agima Jiu-Jitsu. That was impressive. Wow. He finished that quick, Jason. Heavy-handed. Heavy-handed, Leandro. That was impressive. And it was just what we were talking about. In between right there, we were saying... We don't know how much they're hurting him. And right there, he puts Trey he down, puts and he finishes him, him with the yeah. ground and pound as well. His striking his striking was a lot more crisp on his feet. He was landing the harder shots. You could tell Trey wanted to try to get that fight to the ground, and he ended up getting clipped, and, and, and Leandro capitalized on it. 2-0 and oh for the 27-year-old out of Aguima. And who knows, we might see him at 145. The power at 145 would be something to see. And, hey, if you're Trey, keep your head up. 
He's got a bright future. 18 years old, he was bringing it. I'm really impressed with that kid as well. I'm very impressed with the Vigilante Academy, what they've shown out tonight in their two fighters. Dietrich Jessup as well as Tremont. Hey, we talked about it at the top of the broadcast. We didn't know what to expect. They brought it. They absolutely did. They're a small gym out of Syracuse, Utah, and they have definitely showcased their talent and skill here tonight. Let's move on over to Jackson Hoops for the decision on this fight. All right. Fierce fans, referee Dave Selya said has called us up in this contest at 2 minutes and 48 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by TKO due to strikes out of the red corner, Leandro! Leandro, very awesome performance against a high-level wrestler. How did it feel defending all those takedowns? Oh, it felt great. Uh, I didn't feel super ready for him. Uh, had a rough camp, just like everybody else uh, does. But uh, man, it was—he's a great wrestler. He pushed me to. To defend them, and luckily I did. So. Yeah, you definitely did. It looked like you were ready for them, if you ask me. So now, now you're two and zero. You were able to land a couple times on the chin. Once you did that, did you know you were gonna able to put him down? Yeah, I was listening to my corner. Uh, I, I heard Marco. I heard Dane. They're telling me what to throw. Um, I heard that the, the combo was there. I threw the combo. Um, I started to realize I needed to slip from his jab and connect there, uh, counter. So, yeah, just move my head a little bit and throwing it. And I feel like I, I could have. I, I knew I heard him a couple times. And I knew I could put him down. Awesome. Congratulations. Way to execute the game plan. You did great. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thank you to all my family and friends for supporting me coming out here. We appreciate you. Thank you to the cage for breaking and giving me some time to breathe. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you to the cage for giving him a little bit of time to breathe. I mean, that might have been an X factor in this fight. I mean, Leandro Luxio moves to 2-0, and, and he looks like one of the best up and coming All right, ladies and gentlemen, Utah. that ends our preliminary card. We're going to take a quick break just for about five minutes or so because we've already had our breaks through the night. We'll get right back to it. We'll a quick intermission just to get that soft up salsa, get those concession stands going, and get that apparel booth. Go get your hats, your hoodies, and your goodies.